Okay. Should be back now. That's all it needed was a reboot. Everything was just stuck. Tried restarting the processes. Nope. So we'll be good. I'll just go. We'll just kind of go into everything. I'm not gonna bring out the boxes again. I'm just gonna show them as we go. So we will start. I'm gonna start off with Evolving Skies stuff that I found today. I saw a ton of these promos and only a few of the sleeve packs. But I just wanted to grab each of the promos. Uh, I just like collecting these promo cards. So these were the two single sleeve co promo boxes that you can grab for Evolving Skies there. Let's see. So I have yet to pull anything from the Evolving Skies set. I have probably opened maybe 10 packs, 10 to 12 packs on this so far. Start off with a green card there. I'll try guessing the energy fire. Oh, we get water. So let's see here. Snowleaf Badge, Gordy, Hitmonchan, Fletchling, Tentacool, Pikachu, C Dot, Into a Skip Bloom, and a Flapple. See if we can get that promo. Magic on this pack. Pro the single sleeve promos was how I uh, I saw a bunch of them when they had battle styles from the Charmander, and that's how I got the sleepy Tyranitar. Another green card on this. Didn't guess the energy. Got rubber gloves, copycat, Dolores, Nicket, Bergmite, Rock and Rolla, Flappy. A blue into a Hippodon, Trampa. Nothing crazy on them. I think there's more Evolving Skies in the other box. But celebrations is what we're here for, really. Get these out of the way. So next, I'm just going to break into this tin. So I found this today. I found a bunch of the V Power tins. I saw the both the Zekan and Zamizenta tins, but then I saw one of these and then one of the Pikachu ones. So I left Pikachu. I got this specifically to match this box that I found too. They had a bunch of these boxes. I've never seen these in the store, so I had to pick this up for the collection. We're gonna get that into that shortly here. We'll get into this. Good seed tin. We will. And these tins are sweet. I've never seen the small, like thin tins. Usually, like the tins that I'm used to are the really big. Uh, thick ones. That's the V card it comes with. That's pretty sweet. So we'll get that sleeved up here.
once again a fan of these promo cards do like them so let's see i like how this was packed though. this is packed really well for the the cards so we got two vivid voltage rebels a burning shadows and a sun and moon those are some old packs there Don't get those a lot unless I find old tins, it seems. So it's kind of nice to get them every once in a while. Tin's not really only only a couple dents on the top of this tin, which I just pushed them right up. It's a cool like thin tin. Set that off to the side. Oh, I should open that back up. I can set all these cards that we open up from non-celebration in there. Oh, bump the camera a little bit. All right, so let's uh, let's go into the Sun and Moon pack. I'm gonna open the Sun and Moon pack in a little bit here. Man, dude, I, I, if there's a award for getting these green cards, you'd give it to me. Alright, I gotta go with that fire, man. Dude, I'm, not, I'm just gonna straight up guess fire the whole time. Some cool. That's a cool reverse. Next, we'll do the Burning Shadows. And honestly, I don't know any of the pulls from the Sun and Moon. All right, white card. Let's see what we can pull here. Grass. <laughs> Should have went fire. Should have went fire. That's a. Uh... Not. It's not a bad. I like Kingdra. I got a Kingdra um, the X card from one of the older series. That is not bad. I feel like this corner is a little nicked. I could feel it. Alrighty. We'll pop into this rebel class. See how this goes. Water. Be the energy, dude. More fire. That's what I'm talking about. Capture energy. Just trying to get through these cards so we can get on to this celebrations. No luck yet though on this ten. Nothing crazy. It could all change right here. A green card. Got him. They did it again. Hope I didn't guess, but I wouldn't have been fire because I wouldn't have guessed it. Dang, another. All right, one more pack from this tin. We 
need that chunk at you, you know, to go into the other box, you know. It only makes sense that they would do this for me. Get it from a different store and everything. Still electric, we can go into. I think I might already have this, but I do like Amperos a lot. So, not a bad card. Get another energy. Cards off to the side over here. Alrighty, now we can break in to this massive box. Xerneas VMAX Premium Collection. I uh, might want to grab my jumbo binder quick, just so I can uh, sleeve up this big jumbo card immediately. So it is a sweet artwork. Good gosh, the side of this box has the best seal I've ever had to rip on a Pokemon box. Usually just looks like they want you to open them. This one is telling me not to open it. Ugh. Let me grab the binder that's behind me. We can, uh, get, get this bad boy sleeved immediately. This pen is sweet. There we go. Nice and focused. It's not, not as cool as that Pikachu pin, but that artwork is pretty nice, I would say. Let's take a look at this massive Jumbo VMAX. Honestly, it is massive. Like, they, they did a good job on the artwork. Gotta save that spot for Charizard, so we're gonna sleeve him. Come on. Missed the back corner, but I had the front. And soon we'll have this whole binder complete. Fire incoming. I'm ready. I am ready, man. Let's see. We got two battle styles in there. Which... I thought this box was an older box. I didn't realize it was a newer box unless the reprints throw in battle styles. Got a Darkness of Blaze. Got a Rebel Clash. We got a Sword and Shield. And we got a Vivid Voltage.
let's get this big old coin out. It is a big coin. Like... Big coin. Let's get... Get those out. I like, I really like how they do the packaging on the cards and some of these boxes. They do an excellent job on that. Get him sleeved up. Smaller version of the jumbo card. Now let's hope you are correct on this fire incoming because I moved, I had to guess between the three boxes and it's always a gamble, you know, you know how it goes. You're always like, was this the right call? Did I pick the right box? This box got all the pulls. Never know. Open the packs in order of release. Starting with Sword and Shield. We'll kind of just burn through them again. I see my boy Grookey though. Grookey Gang. Can I get a uh, plus? Let's see my Grookey Gang in chat here. If anybody's out there. Didn't guess it again. Poke Gear 3.0. Gafantula and Rhyperior. I got a couple of these guys. It's, a, it's not a bad. Not the worst thing you can pull. Big F. Yep, I know. Well, we're already down. We're down the Sword and Shield pack onto Rebel. It's like as long as you like if you pull a good card that pays for the box that's always what makes me feel good it's like pretty nice so these uh whatever this back card is the corners uh nice and whitened on that second to last oh it's just snow over that's okay could have, you know, gave me a shiny Arcanine, but it's fine. All right, down, down two. Darkness Blaze. Just give me that Charizard that I still need. I feel like they want me to have it with how much Darkness Blaze I've been opening lately. All these packs. Oh, that's a free uh it's free free darkness of blaze if anyone wants that one. I'm just gonna you know say that one was gone since they had that upside down. So be my guest on that one. It won't hurt my feelings. Alright. Can we do it? I see something in the back. I don't think it's the Charizard, but at least there's something. Uh, I I'll take that. I'll take Grimmel Snorer V Max. I have the one from Shining Fates, so that's uh that's cool. The Shining Fates one is pretty sweet looking.
Get him sleeved up. Trying to remember his color, his shiny form. I think it's white. Move all these off to the side. All right, vivid voltage here. Just pull that chunky chew. Okay, it's always a good sign. I don't even see. It was a white card. It was a green card, and I pulled uh, VMAX. It's uh, interesting. I don't know if I've ever done that. I'll take it, though. Ooh. I like it. I like it. I'm a big fan of Zapdos. So. I've been, uh... Wanting to get some more chilling rain because I want to pull the new Zapdos. I think uh, Roadrunner is pretty sick. I think the new birds, honestly, they did a cool job updating them to their Galarian forms. I'm actually going to sleeve that Zapdos just because uh, I like Zapdos. And. I got a bunch of these sleeves. All right, two battle styles, which honestly I have stupid good luck with. I feel like I've pulled all the main cards and set. That were like sought after but i would have to look at the checklist for the, the top cards that was another green card upside down that they did there Could hardly tell that was holographic for a second there. Another green card upside down. They just like weirdly printed this box. All right. It's looking like I should have grabbed the other box that I put back. Why did I do it? Ooh, I'll take the Luxury, though. I'm pretty sure I've already pulled them 20 times. So, we got the Zapdos, and we got the Thermal Snarl. That's about it on the Premium box. But now we can get into our celebrations. So, the f fun is just getting started here. So, I've been waiting all day to break into these boxes. Move all the stuff off to the side all right so we'll start off with the v memories box finally got this in today after replacing the pre-order i don't know how many months ago when they first popped up and it took forever for that shipping to get through the only difference with this card box compared to just getting the solo Charizard in Sylveon is you get the Charizard coin, you get the Sylveon pin, whereas the other ones you get Sylveon V comes in a big uh, promo card. So and I can show you that because I uh, when I realized that the other day, I went ahead and opened it just so I could have it in the binder. 
So you can find the boxes for Sylvia and V, just like you can back find the boxes for uh, Charizard V. But we will have additional Sylvia and V promo on the side. So can't go wrong with that. And I feel like this V memory box I should have ordered two of. Just so I could have kept one uh, sealed. Because I only grabbed this one. It comes with a nice uh, thing that I'm going to keep. I feel like all the collections have been coming with cool things like that. Get my upside down Charizard. Here comes the big pulls. God, I hope. I'm ready for the celebrations, man. Get my up. Oh, wow. That's holding them all in. We got another pin to add. Get that Sylveon pin. Pretty, pretty cool there. We'll pull out Lance's Charizard V. Get a big look at that. I'm like pretty pretty pumped that they did a trainer for that and it made sense to do Lance. So there we go. Got the promo cards for that. Get the promo card sleeved and then we will open what we got here. There's one. number two man I am bad at sleeving cards so, got both the promo cards there and their miniature forms we can also check the back of this box too in case people were wondering what all comes in the back of this box and get this to focus in. Come on, camera. There's that. Sorry, I didn't show that ahead of time. If you want to pause there to read all that. So, six celebrations and two additionals. I will take that. Big Charizard coin. Know if they did something special on the back. So, battle styles and darkness ablaze. And we got our six celebrations packs. I'm trying to be very careful on pulling those out since they are only four cards. They're really like delicate. All right. So I'll just knock these two out.
green card. Oh, I can already see Golet. Golarian. That's actually a cool card. I wish that would have been holographic. Battle styles quick. Got a white card. Got the Houndoom. I don't think I got that Houndoom yet. Very, uh, very nice looking. So that's the Battle Styles pack there. And now we can get on to our start of celebrations. Now we can start getting into them big pulls. We only have a couple more cards to pull in this whole set. We need to get the Umbreon. We need to get the Mew. And we need to get all the other major VMAX cards. Want to take that. So we got Kyogre, Xerneas, oh, oh Surfing Pika. Just gonna keep all these out so I can sort all the celebration cards as I open them. Since I will have dupes, I'm trying to keep them all together. Pack two. We got Kyogre again. We got Cosmog. There we go. Tapu Lele. I think that's the one really hard one to pull. I don't know. But it's definitely one I needed. That is definitely one I needed. Hold on. Let me sleeve it. This is Tapu Lele. GX. It is beautiful. I just want to sleeve it before I do anything. Here we go. Tapu Lele has been pulled in the second pack of celebrations. Let me grab my uh, little list. Hand me here. That's what I thought. So yeah, this is the last card on the list. I think that's one of the more, so maybe it's the Xerneas, I don't know. But I know these ones have been like, I really need to pull. Really want to pull Mega Rayquaza. I need a Rush. I need Zern. So I need one, two, three. Um, four, five, six. Oh, you can't see this. So four, five, six, which that's like the card to pull. That everyone's going for seven and then i think i don't have here comes team rocket so eight nine ten and then i'm done with the whole set but at least we can knock out one card as a at a time man on to pack number three Did not rip that pack well. All right, 
Dialga. Alkia. Hey, Cleffa. And Manala. And I will take Cleffa. I only pulled one earlier, so. The feel of this, these like cards too, the texture is so nice on them. That card, the whole card is textured and swirl. Forgot about about the Pika boy. Crispy is nice. All right, we're going into a ho, -Oh, Cernius, the Velta, somebody's out to be. Into a Dialga, Cosmog, Imposter Professor Oak, another good card, and another Surfing Pika V. Which, now I'm pulling the, oh no, no I have a lot of the Surfing, I think it's the Flying guy that I don't pull a lot of. I'm pretty sure I've pulled 10 of these Surfing boys now. I'm just gonna own them all. And now we're on to that last pack. Do we have last pack magic? The question still remains. And we are gonna find out here after I poorly rip this pack open and just ruin it. Absolutely ruined it. Into a rush. The rush it into a grout on rocket zapdos professor's research good good last pack magic i say this uh celebrations box did some pretty good uh hits for the celebrations cards we knocked out one card that i needed and we got some really good pulls here. That was not a bad box, guys. These are some good pulls here. So I'm gonna stack these up and we can see what we get later. But I'm leaving the guys on the side here because I will be 
breaking into our final box here. Look at this. Like, look at this box, guys. I know the camera's like being crazy, but just crazy. Good last pack magic. Heck yeah, bud. This box is just crazy. I cannot believe how many of these boxes I seen today that nobody was there camping the stores unless they got all the UPCs. Then I understand why they're all there. But to find these in the public, and I mean, I saw like 40 of them. I feel like not a lot of people are going to like see that. Which I don't understand, because some people, like I talked to in my group, saw n none of them. And they went to six or so targets, got nothing. I walk into one to find a gold mine. But my target's been so bad so for so long that maybe that's the reason, I don't know. Okay. So they... This figure is wow it's so cool honestly that is a chunky peek -a boy man now at the top is fragile so that would break if it did snap that would be very unfortunate but that chunky pikachu So cool. I dig it. I dig it. Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. And these promo cards that we got here. It's not the rainbow thick boy, but... I'm just surprised that we get a thick Pikachu VMAX on. I gotta open some more top loaders here because I ran out. Leave out these boys, and then we can get them shown off. And I realized that that chunky peak has got that 25 fifth logo, so let me pull. My lord, I dig how they packed it. Hey, and we get to try our luck at Chilling Rain. We've got a vivid voltage. This one's me. Packing paper, but like how they packed that and then they have another layer down there that like it holds it dude it's a plastic carrier that was just it's like i don't know i i feel like i should keep this to ship stuff in one day like just a sweet carrier for four things to put in sideways Kind of works. And then the bottom four. So we got eight celebrations to end it off on. And can we say the chunky boy Pikachu? 
holes better than the other box. Can I put this plastic box on? Yes, maybe. Honestly. Just yeet it. Who, who cares about the plastic? You know, I just need a big old, big old bag, and it's all going outside. All right, let's show off these cards, though. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeet. These cards. Thick boy. It should just be thick max volt tackle. Like, don't even name it G Max. Just accept the fate. He's thick. The big old chonka. Look at that. You even you accepted it on the cover. You gave him the chonka. Chonka. Just a big boy, man. That's what I imagine Pikachu as in 25 years from eating all Brock's cooking. Because, man, Brock like food. So, Pikachu just became Chonkachu after a while. He never evolved into Raichu. He just grew into Chonkachu. Gosh darn drill up in here. Vivid Voltage. Sucking. We needed that last uh, vivid voltage pack magic, but give me B drill. So we'll just slide those cards back in there. Put that pack down there. All right. Let's see what we can do with our chilling rain for the night. Whatever it is, it's got a little top whitening. A little glaring slow king. Yep, yeah, it's got a little top whitening speck or just a, honestly, it's like a misprint for how it is because it's like an extra piece of the card at the top, like they didn't rip it right. Just a tad bit taller than the card should be. Uh, I might have shuffled that wrong. No, I did. Nothing on chillin' rains. This is how it goes. I either pull something on chillin' rains or pull nothing. And by something, it's always the shadow boy. Got that bunch of the shadow riders, but nothing else. And now, we can wrap it up. Wrap up the night here. With our remaining celebrations. Can we pull all about the celebrations? Open celebrations equals good time. Xerneas.
Yveltal. Kyogre. Chonka. Surfing Chonka. Elkia. Oh, oh. Groudon. Just keep on keep on surfing in here, buddy. We only we just need more of you. That's all we want. Is it considered a dud pack if you just keep pulling the same V? No. Cause I could just pull any of these cards four times dialga sekrom imposter professor mew i have not pulled a mew so make a new pile Dialga. Sec. Yes. Got the rush that I needed. And we got a flying. That's getting sleeved right now. Let's go. Now that's... That's a pretty card. That's a pretty card, man. Yeah, dude, this card looks just sweet. So let's get get all these sleeved up. We can do a little zoom in on this. Big chunky boy. Artwork on these VMAXs are sweet. They got the SSAN back here too. For people that know that from Kanto. Got the surfing boy. We got the flying boy that we never pull. And we got imposter. Oh. Another another nice card, honestly. Nice artwork that they did on that. Super shiny. Throwback. Four packs down. Four to go. Two, Thalkia, Dialga, big old Venusaur pole, and a Pika. This is the third Venusaur I've pulled from the set. 
And it doesn't get worse than that. Having an OG starter pull. We could pull three, you know, Charizards out of, you know. I'll take that. But can't go wrong with pulling a starter. Alrighty, three packs. Into Groudon. Oh, oh, a Lugia, and a Pika. I have not pulled a Lugia, and the corner on that Pika is cracked, honestly. This whole card is whitened. To... All the corners were jacked on this card. I was staring at it when I pulled it out, because I was like, man, imagine that being my Charizard pull. All right, Kyogre, Zach. Oh, Professor's Research. We got our first dud pack in the night. Into our last pack. And that's about it. Got other stuff around, but nothing that I want to open. Can we get the last pack magic here? Into a Palkia. A Zek. Rocket Zapdos. Another Pika. I'll take the last pack. At least having something. Then. Cosmog or Professor's Research. And you can't go. Can't go wrong with. A Zapdos. Especially. The rocket Zapdos. Having the throwback cards is pretty sick. This whole celebration set is just honestly the coolest thing to open up. I just want to complete it, honestly. I want to have a full set to have sitting around in a binder for years to come still need a lot of those uh cards on that last page though need that gold mew and i need that umbreon and i have more etbs that i'm always tempted to open just because for 50 dollars you get 10 packs or whatever it is compared to the Pikachu box, you get the eight celebrations packs, and then the other one was six. Everything else is kind of lower from there, so if I could get that ultra premium box, that's really what I want to get. I would, I really want to try and get the gold plated cards because it just looks so cool. Would love to have it for the collection. So let me, uh, up these cards here then I can just run through all the quick pulls I'll sort through them
anyone um that's still in chat excited for the diamond and pearl remakes in a couple weeks we got like three weeks left or so i for one am very excited I have very very sweet memories of my cousin playing diamond and pearl specifically and messing around in the um underground forts and everything so it's gonna be it's gonna be super cool having that with a massive like multiplayer instead of like local LAN play because that game by far was one of my favorites outside of emerald all right so got a couple of these pikas Another imposter. Rocket Zap. Zom, Zom, Pika, Pika, Tapu. So, not bad. Not bad pulls for the night, honestly. I'm getting the promos all done here. Flying. Pika. Sure, got everything here. It's a good, good stack of cards. And all the other cards that we had earlier from the other stuff. Not a crazy pulls outside of those other tins. I really was just honestly just after the promos, if anything. Man, these are the extras. So pretty much five promos, four hits out of all the other boxes and a bunch of different miscellaneous hits here. So not terrible. Not terrible. Very into the set, man. Very good pulls tonight, I'd say. I'd I am like, I'm grinding down this list, man. We only need one, two from this back page. Which I really want that Marquesa, man. man. Man, oh man. So I need two from that page. The Umbreon is hard, the pull. I need, so that's three, four, five, six. Still questionable, I'd have to check after the stream. Seven, eight. So eight for sure, possibly nine. And I would have to just go upstairs and check. Surprisingly, I have I think I've only pulled one birthday Pika, maybe two. But three Venusaurs, two Professor's Researches, bunch of Zapdoses. Got a couple of him now. Only, I don't think I, I don't think I have Luxury X here. That might be another one I need to add. I know I got these guys, which questionable, and I don't know why he got added to the set, but still need the carp. So we're almost there. We're almost there, and I still need the Dragapult Prime thingy that comes with the small binder because the binder's a 25th anniversary binder with it so it'll just be perfect to get the binder with that if i can find it but it's a matter of finding it and i don't know maybe tomorrow i'll go and run around to some stores i know some people told me they found it at like family dollar and stuff but my area is so rough to find cards i'm shocked that i found all this stuff today so it's not, not often that I can open more than like one box, let alone everything I just opened in tins and I could have bought more to open, but gotta have a gotta have a stopping point for some points. But thank you guys for uh tuning in and watching. 
Hope you enjoyed. And I will be back for more when I get uh, more to open. So, thanks.